Olá, gente. É, esse chat aqui vai ser... É, apesar de eu estar falando em português, ele vai ser em inglês daqui a pouquinho, uhum. tá? Tenho duas amigas aqui fantásticas, a, a Cláudia e a Carol. Elas moram no UK, na Inglaterra, há muitos anos, há muito tempo. Elas vão falar um pouquinho mais sobre isso, tá? E a ideia é de a gente fazer um bate-papo, conversar um pouquinho, falar sobre o inglês, falar sobre a cultura inglesa, falar sobre uhum. os desafios, as as coisas interessantes que, que o UK oferece, tá? Para quem tem uma dúvida, para quem tem dúvidas, é, elas estão aqui, tá bom? So, can, can we start in English? Yeah, no yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Okay, girls. So, can you tell me, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, when, first of all, when did you move to the UK? And, um, yeah. Who goes first? We can interact. Clau, do you want to start, Clau? Yeah, sure. No worries. Well, uh, my name is Claudia Clark. I moved over here about 21 years ago. Wow. I used to, I moved to London to begin with. And then when I got married, I moved to Milton Kings in Buckinghamshire. And then therefore, after splitting up with my ex-husband, I moved back to London. And that's 21 years ago. Ah, fantastic. You live in London now, right, Claude? Yes, yes. Yeah. I do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you, Carol? Me. Hello. Hello, everybody. Um, I first came to the UK in 1993. That is, the my math's not as good as Claude. <laughs> I don't know how long ago. 20 Doesn't matter. <laughs> God knows. I'm um, <laughs> so initially I was in London as well, studying, and then we moved to Kent when I got married. Well, I went back to Brazil when I came back in 2000, 2000 and um, went then to live in Kent in Chislehurst first, then moved to Maidstone, and then about 10 years ago we moved down south to Brighton, uh, around Brighton, it's actually Seaford. not in Brighton, Seaford, yes. Love that Seaford. place. <laughs> East Sussex. Most gorgeous town in East Sussex. Oh. It is, it is, yeah. Have you been there? Uh, Seaford. Of course, yeah. You yeah. need to come over. <laughs> it's beautiful, the cliffs, right? I remember going to the yeah. cliff, yeah. Sunny place, most beautiful mm. place. Yeah. My and time. girls, what do you do now? What are you currently doing? Well, as I turn 50, I'm half century. I'm a full-time student at London Metropolitan University. It's a new challenge for me at 50. I am studying health and social care, and I really, really enjoy that. Fantastic. Ooh. Lovely, yeah. And uh, why did you decide, Cloud, to... to to do the, uh, the course, the university course? Well, it's something that I've uh, had it in my past already. Mm -hmm. uh, when I lived out in Milton Kings, I did work for Bernardo's for a year as a beef render. Uh, we worked with the consul in Milton Kings. So pretty much what you do, you take the customer or the client, we call it, for a day out, you also help at a charity, so it's very interactive to a level. The boy is autistic, so it gives you a knowledge about how gifted some of the kids are in this country and how lucky that they have the support of the government. Great, yeah. Ooh. Super cool. Super yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, uh, how, just... how about you, Carol? Yeah, I've just finished my term as um, deputy mayor of the town. I got into politics a few years ago and I was elected a town councillor in Seaford. Uh, therefore, then I, I became deputy mayor last year, but I've now just left because I became really? quite ill, I'm afraid, oh. last year. So um, mm. with um, I had to start. Um, Did you have a license? Year. Did you get a license? Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm off on license. So I'm mm -hmm. uh, hoping to get back to it at some point, but for the moment, I'm just enjoying my life. And uh, I'm also company director of my, my own media company, Wallpaint Media. Mm -hmm. Me and my husband together, we have um, this um, digital media company that we both work for. And um, yeah, 
that's our lives basically now. And also, I'm a mum of a 12 year old mm -hmm. and two dogs. So, I have quite a busy <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> You don't know the little one now. I know, one. I don't know. Just, just uh, from the pictures, one. yeah. Yeah, but not the other one's down. What's his name again? Well, that's, that's another thing because the <laughs> first time he came to us, he's a rescue dog. He came right. to us as Samson, oh. but we didn't think he looked at all like a Samson. So we started calling him Sammy, uh -huh. but for some crazy reason, I started calling him Frankie. Frankie. But the yeah. other day, I called him Freddy. So whatever <laughs> you call him, he, he, don't you worry. He's just, he, he's not bothered about names. He's just, you know, <laughs> you him, um, just, so just off like food. Just uh, say, not yeah, treat, you'll come. <laughs> Funny dog. Uh, everyone, uh, we're all we're all dog lovers, so we, we love. Yeah. We love oh yeah, we love our dog. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So, yeah, we are. Great, yeah, great, mm -hmm. Carol. And girls, what do you like the most about uh, your city, Carol in Seaford, um, Clow in London? What do you like the most and the least too? Um, what I love about London, uh, it's history. Everywhere you go each corner it can be the simplest thing like a water fountain like you know over god knows how many years ago so i love its history and what i hate the most is the tube the tube really why the underground in the London. underground yeah we can't the hell ho <laughs> <laughs> sorry people are gonna have to get used to that one it's awful mm. it's one of the things that we need mm. in this town but well what about what exactly do you do you hate about the underground oh uh, well it's, it's completely packed we that's pay a lot of money true. yeah that's it's expensive. super expensive yeah i have a student discount great but still so, 30 mm -hmm. percent helps a mm -hmm. lot how much well, is the the single fare I, I forgot i haven't got a clue to no. be honest i don't pay single i pay monthly mm -hmm. so and i have 30 percent off so i think the tube it's it's definitely one of the the things that I would say is horrible in London. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. And you could also uh, oh, God, sorry. have a positive side of yes, it. Yes, of course, yeah. Of life, but you know. Uh huh. I love London. I can't can't say anything bad about it. <laughs> I, think, I think the tube. If you have to commute every day, go on the tube every day. It's yeah. Grim. Yeah. I agree yeah. with Cloud, but you know, it's it's great to have a means of transport that connects you to every single yeah. corner of town. Yeah. I mean, it is, you pay for it, but it runs yeah. on time. And uh, unlike our trains here in Sussex, that we are having lots of problems with the yeah. Southern Rail. So uh, that's another story. But anyway, um, what do I like about Seaford? I love my town. As I said, everything about Seaford, I, I absolutely love. I love my friends. Uh, it's a huge, um, it's, first of all, the, the beauty of the place is just unbelievable it's so it stunning is, yeah. you are you have the sea you have the countryside you have those amazing cliffs everywhere i look i just i'm stunned by the beauty of it um the seven sisters if people want to google it it's, mm -hmm. it's really amazing it's gorgeous it's used to be um actually we have a lot of japanese visitors here that come um because that photo of that particular place used to be at the um, screen saver of the windows computers oh really ah that's why oh, we have a lot oh, of that's seven sisters okay. every time you go there you see bus full of japanese tourists and um, <laughs> um lots of lots of tourists go there just to see it because it became famous um and so many movies are filmed there recently you had a, a movie called sherlock and oh. they walk on that path that we went and you know uh that those cottages on mm -hmm. The Seven Sisters are on that film that's, okay. you know, supposedly where Sherlock Holmes used to live in his free mm -hmm. time, I think. But it's gorgeous. It's film location to many, many famous um, films that we've seen. Uh, the natural beauty is just amazing. But um, I really love the sense of community that we have here. How mm -hmm. easy it is to make friends. I mean, I've had no difficulty. With, uh, that's another question I know. But um, it, it's just really easy to, to befriend with people and somebody's invading my 
it's all right. Uh, so yeah, that's what I like most about it. What's it's what's the easy. what's the population, Farah? Do you know? Population here twenty seven thousand. It's a small town. Yeah. Small town. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, my to, borough, it's, it's uh, your borough, yeah, thousand, yeah. Borough. yeah, exactly. And um, that's why I suppose it's so easy to, to have that sense of community because in a town like London, I remember living in London for years and years and years and hardly knowing my neighbors or anything. Now, in the town mm -hmm. here, I just bump into everyone I know. I talk to people in the supermarket, I go to the beach, walk, it's hi, hi, all the time, right? And it's my okay. son crazy because he says you just stop mommy just you know stop talking to people <laughs> i'll just be rude to people. i remember i remember when i was there and we we had a walk uh, along the beach and you were you were talking to everyone I stopped just, yeah i know everyone <laughs> here it's really it's really funny and um uh -huh. yeah but that's it what i hate about here though it's the the winter the weather the in the winter mm -hmm. that's the only thing i don't like because it's vile the sea is crazy. The winds are, um, it's not, uh, it's out of this world. It's just, I absolutely hate it. And I thought it would get easier and easier as you go, you know, as you get used to it, but I never get used to it. I struggle every single winter with this crazy oh. weather in Britain. It's horrible. So uh -huh. do you have to go same... to every winter. <laughs> do you have the same feeling, Cloud? Do you, do you hate the winter as well? No, the winter is I, I, that's the thing. I don't like the heat. I don't like hot weather. So for me, You're when like I me. think about anywhere that yeah. is, unless it's for a week or two, I can cope. But if I have to leave somewhere in hot weather again, oh my God, no. Oh, uh, no, yes, please. <laughs> Like the sun, the sun is life. Absolutely nightmare. We can swap, Carol. I hate, I hate this, this weather. I love the sun. the sun. It's just, it's not. It's um, the fact that it lasts for seven months of the year. It just drives me insane. You have like a a summer that you expect for the whole the whole year. You're like, oh gosh, you're gonna have the summer. It's gonna be wonderful. You know, we're gonna go down the beach and have our our water sports, our kayak. You know, the kids will be swimming because I live on the coast, and that's the thing we live for summers mm -hmm. here because it mm -hmm. is so amazing to be right by the beach and <coughs> and people really do enjoy it. They they stop what they're doing is barbecues. People are happy. I people are the barbecues. Yeah, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's uh -huh. just amazing. So um, yeah, that's the main thing for me. It's the summer. I live for the summer. And then summer doesn't come sometimes. You, know? <laughs> you wait for summer and always We summer. have a nice summer, Carol. We, 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 we had an amazing summer. Yeah, oh, this year we were lucky, summer. weren't we? But how I'm was off the, to Brazil. How was the summer week. this year, girls? It was beautiful, absolutely sunny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we had a good summer this year, so uh, I can't God, complain. Now it's cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, complain. Yeah. Uh huh. And girls, uh, can you tell me? Uh, can you tell us what uh, were or what what are your, your your biggest challenges? I guess I guess in the beginning, right? What were your biggest challenges? Uh, well, I, I was I was I, I came I lived in the states and I went to Brazil and I spent three years in Brazil and then I came here and I stayed in Paddington to begin with and went to Camden Town. I actually thought I was in hell when I was in Camden Town. Really? <laughs> yes, ugly people, ugly area. Um, they had the market, and then in front of the market, that first Sunday I moved to Camden, it was a bunch of people with punk hair, bad makeup, ugly black. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and I thought, wait a minute. This is hell. I live in the suburbs. I live in hell. For me, it took six months to get used to it. I, I used think. to cry in the beginning. Ah, but I had no problem with the language or the culture, which is quite pretty much for me the same. But the food, yeah, I found dreadful to begin with because mm -hmm. I couldn't cook because I can now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, what else you want to know? Yeah. Great, great. I, I felt, um, can I can I just ask you, Cloud? Just a, sorry, sorry, Carol. Yeah, yeah. Can you can, can I ask you how long did you live in how long did you live in Camden? In Six Camden? No. no, 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 no. It got I got used to to Britain okay. for six for six months. I lived in Camden for 
a year, a year and a half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then when I started getting used to it, then it was better. But still, it wasn't my type of place, to be uh-huh. honest. I didn't it's like It's a great place to, to visit, though, <laughs> right? Yeah. Not to leave. Not to live. Like, <laughs> to visit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How about you, Kara? What were your biggest challenges in the beginning? I think I also found um, that it was mainly about being independent and, and being like cooking my own foods and going to work and finding jobs that were suitable. Um, I didn't have, um, I was studying to start with. And then, you know, when I came back then afterwards, um, well, at the beginning, let's, let me go back there. Uh, I, th- I never had a problem with the language because I've speak, I've, you know, I spoke the language when I came. I think that's the main challenge that might affect people when they come in and they can't, you know, they, they don't have this, this um, grasp of the English yeah. language mm-hmm. as I had. So I think, same as Sklau, I've been in America before. Mm-hmm. So um, it's, it was different for me. I think I have mainly, a after. Yeah. Yeah, mainly was um, <laughs> just, just finding the right group of friends and, mm-hmm. and developing that sort of, you know, um, what you have in Brazil is says everybody knows you from when you were little. And here you're just another person, especially mm. if you go to London, which is a huge um, town. You're just another person trying to just make one it. more, yeah? Yeah, so mm. it's hard to connect, I find. Mm. But, uh, okay. You know, you, uh, after, apart from that, you know, I, I adapted really well. Mm-hmm. I had not many problems, really. Okay. Yeah. What's your question, Claude? Did you feel that you had to learn like British, the yeah. British, yeah, expressions? Absolutely. I spoke yeah. American. Oh well, yeah, that's I did. Did you open Yeah, that's easy, right? People are still accusing me of <laughs> using American. I remember um, my ex-husband doing that. Yeah, this is American. Yeah. 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 And I thought that. I had to learn that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought, oh my gosh, yeah, you're right. I you know, that. and I still bounce between them too sometimes. That's yeah. how I feel about the they language. They used to ask me, where are you American? And I say, no, I'm Brazilian. They said, what? Are you speaking American? <laughs> I said, no, I'm American speak in English, but it's American English. But, you know, that changes, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. 